Hello everyone, my name is Dakota and welcome back to Satisfactory. You can see that we're not in Satisfactory today because today we're going to be talking about how you can play with mods in Satisfactory to sort of augment or extend your gameplay. Now the Satisfactory modding community is built around a website you can see here called fixit.app. So go ahead and pop on over there and check it out if you're interested in getting started with mods. Uh, and the first step you're going to need to do is to download the Satisfactory Mod Manager. You can find a link to that right at the top of this web page. So once you go ahead and get that downloaded uh, and installed, you'll be good to go. Now, a quick note about that. If you've played with mods previously in Update 4, there have been some issues reported with how the mod manager sort of updates incorrectly or, or maybe leaves behind some old files. So you're going to want to make sure you clean that up really well. Go ahead and uninstall it through Windows and then delete the folders as well as the mod folders from within your satisfactory directory and just make sure everything is cleaned out before you install the new version once that's done get it installed it's a pretty straightforward install there's not a whole lot of uh bells and whistles to it, it doesn't install any bloatware or anything like that so uh so go ahead and get that installed and then you'll be good to go now you can use the website to browse mods or you can actually use the satisfactory mod manager itself now once you get the satisfactory mod manager installed uh, you will see a window that looks something like this uh, you can see you've got some options here notably you can turn off mods if you don't want to play with them for a while uh, or if you want to go back and, and sort of see how it has affected your world uh, once the mods are removed uh, and then you can see a list of mods that you can choose from now it's important to note that when you're playing in update 5 you want to only use update 5 mods and those are going to be mods that are updated after november 23rd of 2021 that's the launch date for update 5 the mods sort of have to be the same version as the game you're playing and if you try and play with an older one you'll just get a crash to desktop it won't launch uh, so that's definitely something to be mindful of you can see a full list of mods here and and there's tons and tons of them that do all kinds of stuff uh, so you guys can can peruse that list we're going to play around with a little simple one i think this decoration one is one i've i've taken a quick look at yeah so this is one that lets you sort of build the various decorations trees rock form formations things like that uh, so we're going to go ahead and click the download button to install that mod and that'll take just a few minutes to download and install and once that's done and we're ready to play, we can make sure we've got mods turned on. We can make sure that this was updated uh, since the update five launch. This was updated earlier today, so we're good to go on that. And then we can go ahead and click launch satisfactory. Let's pop over into satisfactory and see what we've got. All right, so once you launch into Satisfactory, if you've got your mods installed correctly, you should see a new entry on your menu called Mods. This will let you see what all you have installed. You should see Satisfactory there. That's the default game. Uh, you should also see a list of any mods you have. You can see we've got that decoration mod as well as the Satisfactory mod loader. Uh, once that's done, you can go ahead and load into a world. Right, so once you load into game, you can then start playing with your mod and how your mod is going to work is going to be different for each specific mod. And if you have a bunch of them, they may interact with each other. Uh, in this case, we're only running one and you can see that this gives us a whole bunch of new buildables. And these are sort of the, the decorative plants and things. Uh, so we can go ahead and take one of those and, and plant that. And we can just sort of drop that into our world here. You can see that it takes some biomass to build it. That's sort of laid out by the mod author. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so we can now play around with these new buildables and sort of use them to dress up our factory a little bit. Now, as a warning, when you play with mods, there is a chance that things could go wrong. There's always a chance that the mods will corrupt your save games or that they will cause crashes to desktop and that you may lose some progress. Now, in order to sort of safeguard yourself from this or minimize the chance of that happening, uh, it's important to do a number of things. Most importantly, is probably to back up your save files, go into your save game directory and I'll I'll post the location for that down in the description below. Uh, so go into that and and make a copy of those files before you ever start playing with mods. And that way, if something goes wrong, you can always restore those files later. Uh, second is to just be mindful of what mods you're using. Only use mods from trusted authors, uh, people or, or mods that have uh, sort of some history. And, and, and again, most mod authors are going to be pretty straightforward. If their mod is in an early alpha version and they aren't, entirely confident on it there's usually a note of that in the description so just make do your research on your mods and and what you're going to install and uh finally don't use mods with a, any sort of game where you have some kind of emotional attachment um 
you know, if you if you put a thousand hours into a save, then don't use mods in that save. Use another another save. And and there are mods that can even help you get caught back up to Steam. You know, one of the one of the biggest uses of mods is for cheat mods that'll let you you know bypass the early game and get to a point where you have you know all of the tiers unlocked and uh, and power automated and, and everything else so you can just focus on building cool factories and if that's how you like to play and go ahead and play your way you know we're not here to tell you how to have fun so and that will do it for today my name has been Dakoba and thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed this guide if you have leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more I'd also like to know what mods you guys have been playing with and how you use them to enhance your satisfactory experience so leave a comment down below with your favorite mods thank you again for watching and have an efficient day